just for posterity, I'm sailing this boat sideways up the Sailed River. Sideways. And it's freaking narrow. trying to cut across the current it's all going into the river but I didn't realize it's all going into the main river and we're got the engine full blast I'm pointing straight at rocks and we are traveling straight to our port side and if we get pushed too far we're going into rocks so there's that too and that's the direction that we're going We got past, we got out of the main stream, but if you're coming in here, come in tight to the southern side of the entry because uh, that was absolutely ripping. The main current was like, oh my God, I can see it behind me. It's freaking rapids heading up into the other, heading up into the other, the other river. But we're through it now, so God, I don't think we would have gotten through if I hadn't chucked that, that head sail up. My name's James and I've been sailing for the last two years with my two daughters, my two young daughters on board our boat, the Salty Jocks. And we've made it all the way from Fremantle up to Darwin where the boat currently is waiting for us. We recently just spent three and a half months making our way through the Kimberley and it's been such an incredible time. Two weeks of which we're up the Sail River, which if you haven't been there, it's, it's truly spectacular. starboard side at the moment it's uh it's going to be too too shallow at low tide i think we're right in the sweet spot so even with the tide swinging us around we should just stay on our nice little deep track it's only going to be for one night so we'll see but i think if i've done it right it's going to be awesome because i'll be able to throw the drone up and we'll be able to see exactly where we're sitting it's certainly better than beating into it upstream and we'll catch up with the other guys tomorrow
doing? Well, I was uh, I was pretty eager to leave, but once you pull the anchor, which was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, pulling that anchor up with the current raging through. Once you've got that anchor up, there's no brakes on this train, you're all in, you're going for it because uh, we're getting pushed along at four knots. That's two sandbars out of the way. We ended up about five meters off the, um, off the sand, or the mud bank there with all the rocks. It's a bit how you're going with three meters under the keel, but surprising it's so deep. Hopefully if I can slow us down a little bit, the tide, I mean the tide's coming up. I think it was like three meters in an hour. So it's, uh, it's really coming in. Well, if we hit something, we're stuffed because we're going way too quick. We've got four meters under the boat and we're going through a narrow passage with the sail up. So hopefully it's all good. It should be all good, but that doesn't mean it will be all good. got a little bit of wind coming from behind so the head sail is nice and manageable I can pull that in crank the en engine on if need be but it'll just give us that little bit of control against the uh, the current to steer us through down this channel and a lot nicer than listening to the engine that's for sure This is hilarious. <laughs> Sailing sideways to try and get away from this, this cliff face because all the wind's just channeling through the river. But yeah, it's nice the tide's up, but uh, it's just funny, it's just really funny. We've just got just enough wind that we can, we can steer ourselves as long as we go with it. Unbelievable. What is it? You hear that? What is it? Who it's is a, it? It's an echo. It's my voice echoing off the rocks. But it's... why does it say in the second? Harley! Ah! Because <laughs> it, it travels over to the rocks and then it comes back and bounces back and then we hear it again. Oh, 1.9. <laughs> Oof. <Heck. laughs> Bomb breath! <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, is it back to basics from the toy? No, no. Where? Go away! Ah! <laughs> ah, ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say something! It's taking my mind off the shallow depth underneath the dash. Monkey's in the trees. Oh, that's better, 3.2. With that. Hey, let me do one. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, hang, hang, move out the way I need. Oh my God, here we go. I do not know for the life of me why I started that, because now the girls are sitting up the front just screaming out of the hatch. Absolute crap, just screaming. So, what went from one of the most peaceful surreal, relaxing sailing experiences of my life has turned into a, a screaming match. So I guess it comes with the territory though. So we're doing seven and a half knots. I really hope it doesn't get any shallower. Seven and a half knots and it, there's just a wisp of wind and we're slipping through. These are the most incredible gorges. I don't even think it's all of it. I think there's a massive gorge at the end. Exciting times, unless the kids have stopped screaming. Just for posterity, I'm sailing this boat sideways up the Sail River. Sideways. And 
and it's freaking narrow. Very, very narrow. Timber is just so crazy, eh? It is. Yeah, because listen to this. You can do this in the Kimby, Kimberly. Outside, because this. It echoes. It sure does. I don't know if that's yeah. the craziest thing about the Kimberly, though. Well, it could be, but because it's literally outside. Normally, it only happens inside stuff. Yeah, like um, <laughs> empty houses and yeah. other things, stairways. Pretty much um, just dropped the anchor and we're heading straight to the water hole if we can find it. So, mission time. Looks like a little berry. Just leave it, darling. You coming? That's unbelievable. It just—it was all just rock, rock formations on the way in. It's just transformed into a little rainforest. It's a freaking rainforest, girls. Yeah, let's follow the water. Go, go, go. Come on, girls. The girls this way. Wow. Always water to be found. Isla, I'll carry you, darling. So we're just going a bit further up. See, so we can do a fast. Oh, poor God. Rough as guts. Touch them, girls. Touch the rocks. Don't fall in. We're just going to keep moving past them, all right? There you go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I'm touch all right, you can touch this. You can touch the mangrove tree, Isla. Do you want to touch the mangrove? Good job, and you can touch the rock. Watch your fingers. Everyone gets to touch the rock. Amazing. Wonderful, everyone touches the rock. Another little afternoon spot. This one isn't very deep, but it looks pretty damn cool. I just um, I just wish I had a fishing line so I could actually fish some of these spots. So just a little canyon. Wow. Do you know what, Hallie? I reckon you might even get some water down that in the, um... Wow! Let's have a look. There's running, drinking water cascading down these rocks. And we're talking, it's the end of the dry season. You know, there shouldn't be... There shouldn't be, that, that'd all be salt water. There shouldn't be any water here right now. And yet, we're in an amphitheater with cascading water coming down these rocks. I know. Come grab the GoPro and take it with you. Is there a pool there? Oh my God. There's just, we're just on these rocks and there's so many little pools. They can swim in, like, look. 
the water dripping down. Some here. There's all salt water. Come over here. Yeah, but also yeah, we gotta be careful of crocs. Yeah. But the pool up here we can't really Whoa. swim in there. Oh. Swim there. What? Hey, the snake, snake, snake. Snake. Whoa. Oh my god. If this was the Halley, this in the wet season, this would be full up with fresh drinking water. You could literally camp up here safely away from crocodiles in this amphitheater in the cool. Oh my god. Is it good? Yeah. I'm gonna drink some. Oh my god. That's so good. We could just sit jerry cans under here and let them fill. That's moss. There's a lot up here. Mm. We'll come here tomorrow. Yeah. We'll show Nick and Julia this tomorrow. I was just saying, there's two incredible finds in one afternoon. Unbelievable. So I managed to, I've ripped the pull start on the, the generator, but I've repaired that with some dynamic, Hallie, some spectra off of the, uh, the spear gun reel that I had that broke. Now that that's fixed, it's still not working. So I've taken it apart. I've taken the carby apart for the, the 10th time of its life. And it's got this weird rusting. I can't figure it out. It's like, it's no wonder the thing's not working. So I'm gonna clean the carby out and hopefully we can get that going again tonight because it is, it's trying to work, it, it wants to work. It's just, um, it, it can't do it. All right.